We have a guest on the show that uh, has been on a few times before, and she hasn't been on uh, in uh, a minute. I don't know where she's been. But, it's uh, been a minute. But she uh, uh, is, uh, as far as I can recall, she was the owner of uh, the W Hotel. Wow. That's why I own the W Hotel. She's an entrepreneur. She has several side hustles going on. Please uh-huh. welcome back to the show, uh, Bean Dip. Hey, hey. Everybody, everybody. Hey, Bean. Dip. Hey. Did hey, you like call you Bean I, or Bean Dip? You could call me Bean Dip or Bean. Mrs. Okay. Mrs. Dip or Miss uh-huh. Dip? Call me Mrs. Dip or Miss Dip or Bean or Bean Dip. Doesn't okay. sound like you're particular. Yeah, any of those names. Hey, cool. just don't call me ma'am. Don't call you ma'am. Okay, Please why, don't. Why would, uh, uh, does that have some uh, connotations for you? Look, I'm trying to make friends with people. I'm not trying to be formal. I'm okay. trying to be friends on a, on a peer level. I'm not trying to be like, oh, hey, sir, hey, ma'am, go, go eat the dick. Okay. Right? Okay, yeah. I get uh, that. By the uh, way, this is Adam, uh, Bean Dip. Hey, I Bean. know. Hi, Bean. We know each other. Yeah. You guys know each other. I've stayed at a lot of W, so we've ran mm-hmm. into each other in the lobbies oh, and the okay. hallways. Uh-huh. Now, you just own the Los machines. Angeles one, though. I own a, a Los Angeles W. Yeah, uh-huh. and I, I stay there. I don't I don't like to. Sometimes I'm like, I don't want to stay in my house. I, I have a little staycation. I get uh-huh. it. And then I go down to the W, and uh, can we talk about how hard it is to find a light switch in a W? We can talk about it. But we're not going to do nothing about it because I need those lights dim with me. Let's get real. Adam Devon's trying to act like, oh, everything's cool. I go to the W sometimes. When he comes there, we keep the lights low and we kiss. You guys have kissed well, before? We've only kissed the one time. It's not a big deal. It's not deal. a regular thing that we do that. It was just one time? Just the one. One time. If it's two, that's a regular well, thing. Well, the thing about Bean is the sexuality that she possesses is... Off it's, the charts. It's off the charts. To the roof. Yeah. To the moon and back. It's to the moon and back. And, and was this part of Bean... I, I remember uh, one of your kind of side gigs that you had uh-huh. was you were you were kissing people for that's money. Right. That's right. For money. And yeah. I get... Yes, I, I make paid her thousands of dollars. Yeah, he paid me thousands of dollars. We had an appointment. I, ca- I gave him a kiss. He paid me thousands of dollars. Am I having to block his number on my phone? Maybe. I just we want it. I can understand that. I mean, Bean, we've never described your physical appearance, but it's more than that. Well, isn't let's it? get into it. Yeah, let's get away. I mean, I'm very sunburnt on my face. <laughs> to a degree that is just like I mean, I I, I mean, so it's so pink. Hot. It's like it's like what I like my steaks to look like. Uh-huh. it's it's like my cheeks. I would say my cheeks and nose are are very hot pink. Eighties. Shout out to the eighties. I've never seen a woman look hotter. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, but f- literally physically like hotter. Like, yeah. yes. And, but the rest of your body is pale as a sheet. I my, don't know. The rest of my body is, if you look up paint colors, if you go to, you know, one of those places where they got paint, Home Depot, place at Lowe's. Sure, we know the types mm-hmm. of places. Uh-huh. Yeah, yes. Just say, I, I want whiter than eggshell, please. Whiter than eggshell. That's exactly That would be right. white. And if they show you that, just know that's the color of my whole body, even the part covered by my clothes. Wink, wink. I wish. I wish I could see that. And the part that, that, uh, of your body that's covered by clothes, uh, that is pretty minimal at this yeah, point. Ju- because Usually, nine times out of ten, just my butthole. <laughs> just, like, just like a candy floss kind of strip well, back I'd like, there. I like a candy floss strip with a, just, a, just a piece of construction paper cut into a circle. Right. Uh, and that covers the, 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 butt the actual <laughs> hole. Yeah. Now oh, that's the, that's you. Didn't, today you're wearing a little bit more because uh, we're well. Because I had to come. I had to come up with the earwolf. You were telling me though that you have kind of a new business venture that you're I looking did. into. Yeah. What exactly? Uh, it's it's like you know how some. Here's a scenario. Okay. I'm walking along. I'm on a hot dog. I'm sorry. I didn't understand. I didn't quite understand what you just I'm said. I'm walking along. I want a hot dog. You want. A- you want a hot dog. All right, but the thought that goes through my head is, that's not healthy for me. I can't have that. That's not good for my for my constitution. There's a lot of nitrates. Uh, nitrates. Of- pig parts that I'm not familiar with. <laughs> Meats that I don't want. So I think, what could I have that's better than a hot dog? I have introduced to you cucumbers in buns. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Cucumbers in buns. Uh huh. I'll have a truck in downtown Los Angeles. Cucumbers in buns. The truck will be called CIB. CIB. Okay. Um, Sib. Kib. Yeah, maybe Sib. I don't know. It's Uh, called Comedy Bang Bang. (laughs) 
Play, I I don't want to cause any confusion in the marketplace here. Well, Although I, I we already had the truck printed. Well, I do admit that my trademark does not extend to food trucks. So that's what I already <laughs> figured out through going to the city council. <laughs> the titty council is that what you said? Hey, you want titty council? L- lift up my shirt. City council. That's why I get my names for my trucks. That, of course, the old expression that we've all said. Q- I, do you cook the cucumbers or are you charring them at least? Great or? question. Mm. We, put, we steam them and then we okay. boil them. Then, then you, you boil them? Boil them. Uh-huh. Okay. And then you can get mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, anything you like. So all they're special. soft. So soft, all, everything soft. that people like about cucumbers, the snap, the... Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't so, play that game. No, it's just kind of mushy. Uh huh. No okay. snap. No nothing. These are safe for everyone, including babies. Really, babies can eat these because they're all just mushy. Babies love these. Babies is our biggest market. We have children coming there without the parents. We had to call the police all the time. <laughs> so just children. It's almost like the Pied Piper. Your truck, in a way, they're just like wandering outside because they hear. Do you have like? Does it play music? The truck or yes, it plays what only song? Pearl Jam. 10. Oh wow. <laughs> Pearl Jam 10? That's it. Front to back? Front to back. And over then and repeat? Over. Over and it's over not over. on random. It's no, not no. on shuffle? Pearl Jam 10, repeat. Pearl Jam 10, repeat. Pearl Jam 10, repeat. In order, thank you. It's a concept album. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Oh, please. <laughs> what is the concept? I guess I, I've only the heard it a few times front to back. Jeremy is having a hard time. <laughs> well, that's one song, certainly. That's the but whole I didn't realize record, that man. extended to the uh, oh, to Alive. Well, yeah. and- He's spoken. I don't know if he spoke on... The he, other nine. Uh, he did. You know, even flows about. That's about a child. Well, OCD. He, who wants to get that peanut butter on every corner. Get that even flow. <laughs> that song's about peanut butter? I that song's yeah, about Jeremy and his OCD. Okay. Okay. I didn't really. Okay. You, I mean, you've heard now it know. way more times than I have, obviously. Uh, yeah. So don't, 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 don't check yourself. Don't stress yourself. Okay. We'll do uh, neither of those things. So when children hear Pearl Jam's 10, they know that uh, the CIB truck is coming through. Uh-oh. The CIB truck, Comedy Bang Bang, uh-oh, is real sip. close. We better go get our cucumber hot dogs. Mm, wow. Uh-oh. And how, how have sales been? Through the roof. What does that mean exactly to you? One month, 14 million. (laughs) Wow. He has been on the show before. He, uh, I guess, I don't know whether it's uh, fair to say that he's an entrepreneur as well as much as he's a a working guy. I mean, like 85% of the guests that you have on the show are entrepreneurs. It seems like everyone comes on and they they have something that they want to talk about, some new business. That's cool. Uh, but you you have just worked at jobs, is that right? Yeah, that's true. Like, Please I'm, welcome Randy Snuds. Thank you. This I mean, cool. I should listen to the show. You should. Yeah, there's yeah, a lot of cool stuff happening. Yeah, we have over 600 episodes. Listen to the 10 hour one first. The 10 hour one first. Yeah, you'll just enjoy get that acclimated. One. Yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'll have one reaction or another to that one. <laughs> Which one do you think I'll have? Uh, I I would gather that you'd be all in after listening to it. Yeah, me too. Like, Dang, this is a trial by fire, and I'm not guilty. Welcome back, Randy. It's so great to see you. Do you know Bean, uh, Bean Dip says she knows you? Hey, hello again. <laughs> yeah, we have carnal knowledge of each other. Really? I hooked up with her when I my grandma gave me a thousand dollars after she died. Well, she didn't. She like willed it to me, and then Carissa and I were on. <laughs> right. I, 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 there was no confusion on my part. I didn't think she passed away and then somehow gave you the thousand dollars. Yeah, she but kept th- it in her hand, and then there was a note that said like, "Let Randy is the only person who can grab this out of my cold dead hands." I was what like, a Damn. cool grandma. Yeah, she's tits out. Wow, that was like that's the Charlton Heston thing. Grabbing something out of cold, dead hands. So, sure. yeah. Huh? Well, he didn't want anyone to... He, he said the only way people would take his guns oh, yeah. was out of his cold, dead hands. Oh, this was $1,000, and I did not spend it on guns. I spent it on a night with Bean Dip. Real? One night? Uh-huh. A full-on night? But now, Adam, you paid thousands and thousands of I dollars just thousands for one kiss. thousands, yeah. So have your rates gone up, or...? My rates vary, okay, ma'am. What is it vary upon? What? Why? Why was I? Why was I more expensive? You came to my service. What it says this much for a kiss. I'm a Randy in real life. So you met Randy off the clock, uh huh? But you still charged him. <laughs> I met Randy at CVS, and he decided to pay for a night of fun, including water park. Yeah. Oh, we, okay. We bonded over how long my receipt was. I oh, was like, how long was it? Dude, that's that's what I said. <laughs> that's what you said. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what you wait, said. You said that? Yeah, I was like, wait, uh, that wait, wait, wait. That's what you said? That's what I said, dude. 
Wait, Wait, you said that. Yeah, I said that. Who said this? I said it. I that's was, what you said? That's what I said. How long was you it? S- that's what I said. You that's said, what you said? Yeah, Bean Dip was there. The receipt why, came out. Why How would long you was say it? that? You I said, said it? I said it. Who said this? I said that. That's what you said. I said that. That's what you said. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I you said. said. That's what I said. That's what you said? That's you what said I it? said. This is what you said? What? No, that's what I said. That's what you said. Yeah, Bean Dip was there. You were there? That's what he said? That's what he said. I put that CBS. This is at CBS. CBS. Oh, you said I, that at. I at see CBS. where the confusion is. We Adam and I thought that you were saying CBS, yeah, and so thinking, that's why we were like, yeah, "Why would you say that?" Network. Oh, yeah. right, yeah, because you guys are. That's not the Peacock Network. It's the Tiffany Network, I believe. No, you're both wrong. Uh, Tiff, Tiffany, another. About, is she a DJ? At Tiffany's. Was yes. Tiffany a DJ Tiffany, or was she yes, just a pop a star? DJ, a pop star. She was a pop star. She you was know, a pop star. Okay. You know, Prince wrote Manic Monday for the Bengals. I do know that, yes. And then Tiffany covered it and took all the glory. <laughs> just like Carissa, my my current girlfriend, is always taking the glory out of my life. Wait a minute. You're back with Carissa? Do it. I thought you were broken up with Carissa. Scott, it's not on again, off again. It's off again, on again. <laughs> Okay, so you're with Carissa currently. Yeah, of course. Des- describe, for those of you who don't recall your previous uh, appearances, describe your relationship to Carissa. Um, fraught with calamitous scandal. She's she, always adding needless drama to my life. She, as uh, in, in the way you would describe it a lot of times, she had a lot of scandalous behavior. Yeah, she did. She's right. duplicitous. What would she do exactly? Uh, she'd always be like, Randy, um, like, meet me out at the Burger King. Like, I'm going to buy you dinner. I'm like, oh, man, lucky me. So I show up at the Burger King, and it'd be a, a location that's been closed for weeks. Really? She would do this to you? Yeah, then she'd be like, She'd Ha-ha. take you to the recently closed Burger Kings? Oh, she wouldn't even be there. She'd be punking me because I was her favorite show. <laughs> I try to tell Randy, that's a classic move. Uh, but— it- can we all admit Punk was a pretty good show? It's going to be back, from what I understand, oh, getting a reboot. God. Yeah, so very excited thank for that. God. Is she excited? Is Carissa excited about this? Yeah, it's, she's uh, the only thing that she's talking about. I'm really? dreading it because it's going to give her new ideas for scandalous behavior. <laughs> it's going to reignite this uh, love for punking you. Yeah, it is. Yeah. How uh, does she find these Burger Kings that have just recently closed? I don't know weird. that I could. I don't, yeah, I guess I didn't realize Burger Kings are closing at that. It's such a rapid, uh, accelerated pace. Yeah, it's like Sears. The 1% figured out that they could just chop it up, sell it off, and make a bunch of cash off these dead Burger Kings. <laughs> <That> makes <laughs> okay. sense. So they're just yeah. closing all over the place. And she's constantly sending you to these? Yeah. Sorry to talk about the economy in this economy. <laughs> oh, in this economy? Yeah, this economy. Wow. Um, that's what I said. So that's – wait. That's what you said? That's what I said. Where? That's what you said. What when? did you say? I just said – yeah, that's what I said. But that's, when? What did you say? A second ago. Like a couple of seconds ago at this point. Oh, wait, that's what you said. Yeah, that's what I said. But why, what? That crack about the economy. Oh. Oh. Oh, Okay. Got it, got it, That's what you said. So what's been going on with your, uh, I guess, your life, Randy? I mean, uh, you've had many jobs. You were fired for stealing at a convenience store that you uh, worked at because you kept saying the word yoink as you stole things. Yeah, well, I said it too loud once. I'm back in the workforce. It only takes once, by the way. (laughs) Yeah, no kidding. That's what I said. So you would steal. (laughs) And then as you were stealing something, you'd say, yoink? Yeah. And then, uh, like, I was getting away with it. I didn't realize because I was saying it quietly. I thought, at first, I was like, man, me saying yoink is, like, uh, exonerating me. Like, people are like, dang, that's ballsy. So they weren't, like, busting me. But it turns out uh, You had just been saying it very quietly. And they weren't seeing me steal this stuff. Right. And the one time you said it loud, they said— They turned and looked. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And and then you were fired from the position. Yeah. I was walking out with some beer for my boys. (laughs) <laughs> Who are your boys again? Um, just like a crew of good dudes. <laughs> right. Yeah, but by name. How many are in this crew, by the way? Two guys named Kevin and a guy named Michael. Okay. So two, two Kevins. <laughs> yeah. That is a good crew. That's what a good happened? crew. Four people. That's what a happened to Jeff? No, Jeff's out of the crew. What happened? He sent scandalous text messages to Carissa. No. Yeah, he leaked his own nudes to her. No. That's I mean, that's one a way good to go. idea. Get ahead of it. Yeah. Really? And how did was she receptive to these? Or? Yeah, of course. She was like, "Yo, Randy, get over here. Look at this." <laughs> Wait, I guess when I meant receptive, meaning keeping it hidden from you and just uh, uh-uh. she like saved it to her her photo roll, okay. and then she like started editing it, and she was like drawing like little like circles around like she was like, "Look at this part of his body. It's a lot better than yours." <laughs> Which parts are we talking about? I don't know. Pretty much everything. Oh, okay. She, she just the circled the whole p- part of his body. Yeah. 
Why Did that make you feel bad? Yeah, it made me feel terrible. Oh, you poor baby. You need to get away from her. Dang, I wish I had $1,000 right now. Well, that's what it takes, bitch. <laughs> We're nowhere near a water park at this point, too, so... I'm There's a lot to, of obstacles. I'm about to turn into a water park. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about right now. Well, that's what I said. <laughs> okay, is that what you said? Dude? Yeah, that's what I said. Um, so, what is going on in, with your life, non Carissa? Uh, well, do you have a Do you have a job now? Yeah, I re-entered the workforce. You uh, did. Yeah, I'm working for a window washing crew. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. A bunch of dudes that get up really early. Um, there. Are, How I, early do you have to get up to wash windows? Is that because you need daylight? Yeah. But you want to get on top of it right away. So, like, you, you got to be ready to roll by the time the sun's rising. Mm. And um, they're a bunch of cokeheads, but otherwise cool dudes. That's cool. What, and where, what, what location is this? Location? Well, I mean, do you, do you travel around the city doing this? Or are you washing one place's windows primarily? Or Any, Anyone who wants us to wash their windows, that's the name <laughs> of the game, Scott. Okay. God damn. But, but I guess, do you have a regular route? Or? I got Mr. CEO over here is like, how do jobs work? <laughs> fucking embarrassing me. Call me on my show to fucking... Take down the blue collar working man. I apologize. I'm gonna be listening to sticks on the ride home. How much? How much is a loaf of bread these days? By the way, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I don't know. Four dollars if it's shitty. How much is a good one? I don't know. Six dollars. Yeah. Eight dollars. Okay, all right. Depends all right. on the location. <laughs> well, I got Mister Moneybags over here, probably shopping at Erstwhile or whatever that fancy ass place Air is. One? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Erstwhile. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Because you're a regular working class guy. And that's what we love about you, Randy. They sell bread at uh, convenience stores. You t- What? Yeah. Butternut or whatever the white stuff is. What, oh, they sell bread. bread. I thought you Water said bread. I saw bread, bread at convenience yeah. stores. Um, so uh, you're doing the window washing thing. Is that precarious? I mean, are you afraid of heights? By the way, don't watch uh, The Righteous Gemstones if you're afraid of heights. Because mm-hmm, those those stakes get high. Yeah. So you're a psychiatrist about three days before? Yeah. A lot of, lot of uh, conditions on right. watching this show. No, I got bad vertigo. I, so I'm, yeah, I'm not then I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely not. Yeah. How bad is your vertigo? Pretty bad. So you, why are you washing windows if if you you have terrible vertigo? I mean, this it seems like every single day would be a nightmare for you. Dude, how many of these problems do I have to solve for you? I wash the ground floor windows. I let the rest of the team <laughs> do the rest. Wait, so I'm in like a hotel that's, say... 30 stories high. Like the W. Like the W, Much like thank a w, you. Yeah. You're only doing one thirtieth of the work? I mean, I'll wash the inside of the windows. <laughs> of Wait, of all of them all the way up? Yeah. Okay. Vertigo's, and that doesn't give you vertigo? No, because I'm not going to fall out the window. Really? Isn't that normally like the, just a housekeeper keeper's job? Or the, this is the service that you provide? Two Hollywood guys trying to take a shit on a blue collar man <laughs> who's trying to make money? <laughs> Y'all should be ashamed of yourself. Why don't you? Uh, Wait, me? My, no, they're for, for taking all the working men. 